Yo, I am so sick of this beef with Martinez twins and all this Jake Paul shit. I'm so tired of it. Jesus. Ah. Oh. All right, guys. Just go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe because we got a lot of shit to deal with, okay? All right. Click the fucking subscribe button. Okay. Just do it. Dang it. How do I go down here? Yeah, but anyways. The Martinez twins and the whole Jake Paul thing. I honestly think it's ridiculous. I mean, I don't think. I just. Jake Paul is one of those people who just. Who's all about the money. It's all about business. All right. We already know this. And, you know, I don't see it as a. I mean, like, from a business perspective. I can see why he's the way he is, but when it comes to the most basic level of being a decent human being, you can still treat people right and do business. And I think Jake Paul doesn't understand that. That's just from what I'm looking at, from seeing all this shit going down. Remember, he, a lot of people seem to forget this guy had a whole fucking Team 10 crew before the new crew. Like he had, Tessa Brooks wasn't even in it. Uh, the fucking Martinez twins. It was a different set of twins. Like, like Team Ten was a whole fucking different group when it came out. And then Alyssa was in the original group, but by the time the second crew came around, she left, uh, or they kicked her out. Whatever the fuck happened. Look, the the point. What I'm saying is this shit is probably gonna continue to cycle. It's the same thing with record labels and the fucking YouTube. Uh, networks they get people in they get them started get them money they treat them like shit and the people end up leaving and breaking off and creating their own business or carrying on with their own shit you know Jake Paul is gonna see this and he's gonna realize that people that he think like he probably thinks these people are his friends but they're probably fucking not I mean maybe a few of them but that's probably because they're in on the business with them but um it's going to be crazy to see how this go down, but let's go uh, react to this. Jake Paul again, Martinez twins. Sorry for the rant, guys. Yo, what's up, guys? We're the Martinez twins, and we're back here. Hey, guys. I mean, we're, we're sitting here. here. Um, guys, we weren't supposed to do this video. Uh, we were supposed to make a vlog, and, and we, we were making a, we're vlog. making a vlog. But someone apologized to us, and I'm like, we need to respond to the apology. To the apology. Like we need to respond. Yeah. I, I really wanna respond because maybe you know you guys can think lying or not. So. <laughs> oh sh. <sighs> What's up, everybody? Um, I'm. I wanna address the Martinez twins situation. Um, and let me start off by saying, first of all, I'm so sorry. To the Martinez twins. Nobody should ever feel bullied. And I, I truly apologize for not doing a better job as a leader and, and as a friend. Pure and simple, I owe you guys an apology. And we are in the business of pranking each other and creating video content around those pranks. However, it's obvious that with the language barrier between us, the twins weren't always fully aware of what was going on. And I should have done a better job of making sure they were fully informed about these pranks. We all do extreme stuff for our videos and prank each other and have fun and mess around and blah, blah, blah. However, I understand how this could have gotten lost in, in translation. And my original like disappointment and reaction was based on the fact that we all assumed they were having fun and, and part of the pranking process and smiling and laughing. And I'm <clears throat> happy they took the time to share their feelings and... I just don't know how to feel about this apology. I watched this already, so I'm just going to skip through this. Kind of, well, I guess we can watch the rest of it. In the second video, which makes things clear, um, you know, but they never came to me or anyone and shared how they were feeling, which would have resolved the situation immediately. Uh, <laughs> however, I do understand that they were apprehensive and, and shy and get why they didn't say anything. I just honestly wish they did because I think it would have like fixed the whole entire situation and I never meant to hurt 
the Martinez twins and genuinely love them as brothers. Uh, I knew that they were special from the moment I met them. We really are like a family at, at, at Team 10 and we spend a lot of time teasing and messing around like brothers and sisters do and I can understand how being in a strange country and away from home made it so difficult for them to communicate and how sometimes pranks are elaborate and tough for them to understand and that's all a part of the business in many ways but again I should have been better at helping them understand we are creating content not trying to single them out and absolutely not ever trying to make them feel uncomfortable or force them to do things we're all growing and learning every single day and while you know if I ever knew the, the twins felt that way uh, I, I would have resolve the situation but it's an opportunity for me to learn to be a better leader and a better person and and learn from my mistakes and I have nothing but love for the twins and the Martinators and all, all of their supporters and hopefully we can talk through this at some point in person and and better understand each other and resolve it um, but at the same time we can use the situation as a way to teach an important lesson to our fans about communication and uh, learning from your mistakes lines get blurred with a house full of creators using pranks and teasing for content, especially if you don't speak <coughs> the language. And I'm sorry for the way things unfolded and uh, truly hope we can talk through it in person to address all of your concerns. And while it's a misunderstanding... Okay. It's a hella long of apology. He said sorry. Yeah. All right, so he said sorry. He said it was a communication barrier. All right. This is how I feel about this, honestly. I think it's total bullshit. I, just watching the videos, you can tell that he was willing to do anything for views, willing to bully, willing to hit on the Martinez twins, basically willing to do anything for videos. When he says pranks, he's meaning like doing anything, like tearing down their room. I mean, fucking shit up. Like he's willing to fuck a lot of shit up to get views I understand that and he said it was a communication barrier I'm sure they fucking knew after the first video oh this is how he's gonna be now yeah if he told them hey we're doing content what if they don't want to want what if they didn't want to make content that way Jake was you gonna drop them I wonder because I mean you said it was a communication barrier but let's Let's say, hey, you did tell him from the get-go, hey, when you guys come stay with us, um, you're not going to really have that much privacy. You're not going to really um, be able to just, like, really sleep as long as you want. You know, you guys going to have to work. You have to get up. We're going to play pranks on each other in this house. We're going to create content around each other. It's going to be fun. You're going to make money. But just know we're going to fuck some shit up. That let's say you told them that from the get go, and the Martinez twins said no. They said I don't want to create content this way. I wonder how things would have went. I wonder how shaky things would have gone if you would have told them fr from up front. I think you didn't tell them up front. I think you didn't tell anyone in that house up front how it was gonna go. Now some of them may like the chaos. Some of them may not. It depends, you know, but let's say you did tell everyone from up front because I'm assuming you didn't. You probably didn't even tell the people you grew up with, Chance and Anthony, exactly what was going on. This is funny to me, Jake, that you could and then you didn't even address the other issues like the whole money issue where they couldn't send their own money back from uh, America to their uh their mom you know because she didn't have any money and you didn't address uh making them do sexual acts for videos and bullying them into doing it pressuring them into doing it there's so much shit so much shit it's controversial man you said sorry wow. when we post our first video saying that we left team 10 you and your whole team are all right, I'm trying to understand. All your team, 
start saying that we, we were lying, that we're liars. And then you guys made a lot of videos. Like even your whole team and people outside the team made, made so much videos saying that we were lying, that, that he never bullied us. That we never felt that way. Or yeah, that, that we, we never felt that way. Oh, like, we, no. we were like, like they were saying we're lying. We're lying, yeah. And even your parents, they made videos about us saying that we were lying. But you know how does it feel when you post a video saying? I think that was crazy. Like seeing the, his own dad and mom. They're like, you guys are old as shit. Why are you even talking? Like, why are you involved? And no, I'm not disrespecting his parents. No, I'm just saying, why the fuck are you two? You're grown. You're grown as hell. You like, you shouldn't even want to dabble into this YouTube drama. You should be able to take the high road at your age. You know, you don't see 28 year old PewDiePie getting involved in fucking drama, you know, in making videos. I'm already tired as fuck. I want to leave this team because they bully us. And then all the team that they know the truth, they know the, the truth. They start, they start making videos yeah, saying that but, we're liars. And then the truth came out with our second video, 30 minutes video saying all the stuff. And then everyone shut up. Like they didn't say all oh, true. They didn't even apologize. And then Jake, you apologize because we were you were so many times bullying Bull us, bullying us on camera and even worse off camera. And you said in your video that the problem was our English, and that's why we felt more bully. So we post a video saying the truth, that all the things that you did to us that's bully in any language. I feel you only watch a half of our probably like ten minutes of the video. You only talk about the prank. Yeah, we prank each other. Language, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. You could see someone, That's like, funny. if he's scared or not. Or if you if you prank someone, don't even say sorry. But the only thing is, like, you miss a lot of things, Jake. You miss that you hold our money. And you only apologize about the pranks. You, you said racist things. Here's the thing. I knew Jake Paul was one of those people. I already knew how he was going to be. To us. And one thing. You hold my money. You hold my my mom's money. I don't even care if it's my money. I, I care if I can give the money to my mom. You care about us only four minutes video. Bro, you didn't even say sorry for a lot of things that you have to. Did you have to say sorry? You didn't even say sorry for not letting us to leave the house, to have a privacy to take showers and then he said we didn't come to anyone we didn't tell anyone that we were feeling bad that we weren't feeling that way oh, we my mind is gonna explode i said to to nick i said a lot of times to nick crompton which is the coo of team 10 which is kind of like you and i said a lot of times to him to him, yo, I don't feel good for the pranks. Yo, I wanna, I wanna leave this house because I don't feel, I'm not feeling good. I, we don't have our own privacy. And can we have a meeting with Jake? And then you find out, which I said in my video, you find out we, that we were leaving the house to have our own privacy. We had a conversation so many times. I knew that we were feeling that way, that we were feeling bad. Jake, you're gonna have more members on Team 10 with dreams, with, with, a career and you're gonna have a lot of people that they're good people you're gonna you're gonna bully them again I want you to change bro I want you to change your mind please I don't want people to feel that way that we felt when we were on team 10 bro you you need to care about your members team 10 members after your apology they keep attacking us making videos I'm not saying who but I I'm gonna give a message, okay? I, I give you 30, 30 seconds to give this message because I want to finish this video. Okay, <laughs> so 30 seconds. Just come on and... Um, okay. okay, 30. Bro, 29. If you're gonna... 28. Throw our stuff. 20. Our t-shirts. Our merch. 26. Just give 25, it... 25. Uh, uh, 24. Little, little, okay. Little, little, if, if you're gonna throw our 20, stuff... Bro, 19, do something. Do something. 18, Be a good 
person 17. and give it to someone, to pe no. poor people, 16. like donate them, 15. bro, please, 14. do it, it's my stuff, 13. and and I will do it, 12. if you don't want to do it, just 11. give it to me and I will do it, 10. but don't be like that, 7, yeah, that's six. It, that's it. No, I'm good. Four. I'm, no. That's true. Like they were throwing away like clothes. They were like, I thought that was pretty crazy, because they were throwing away clothes that could be perfectly used. Like they could have been donated to people. You know, some people don't even have clothes. Six, five, like four, four three, three, two, two one. and one. Yeah. Let's be happy. Let's and uh, 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 let's drop the diss track. Let's drop the diss Okay, no, no, we, we we really have the diss track. So I have my par. So we you should have your par. Okay, wait, 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 we should we should just a little bit, like like five want, seconds of. Oh uh, no! Track. Yeah, please, bro, no. Yeah, please. We shouldn't. No, please. You wanna? You wanna? Yeah. Oh, just my God. listen. Give it back. 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 Okay, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah, you have your problem. Wait, so they do have a diss track. Oh crap! Oh my god, guys. We're thinking to to have someone, someone else. Just to. I need some. They have a diss track coming. This is gonna be interesting. Someone else to just to perfect that and to go away. Yeah, and kill it and kill it. So guys, I'm like, so if you want the diss track, give a like. Give a like right now. Give subscribe to his channel. Guys, turn on want to put notification. Turn our notifications on and comment when you are done. And 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 bye. And and peace. Peace. Peace, guys. Peace. Wait, we should. No, wait, wait. Hold on. We should. Yeah. Go. You you go. I'm lazy, bro. Okay, I go. So you apologize to us on Twitter, probably because you don't want to bring more attention to how you bully us. And then on your YouTube, you keep attacking us. This is a bully right here. I've never done that besides just now. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, bro. It's okay, I can sense it. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Why is everyone tackling me? You should just leave Team 10. Bro. Say yes. We can talk about it. I'm gonna make a video about this. Now I'm gonna have to make a video back. Okay. So I'm like, are you sorry or not? Wow. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope that gives you an insight of how evil um, Team 10 really is. It's, it's really ridiculous. Make sure you guys subscribe and peace.